All right, David, let's start. We're going to get into our New Year's resolutions for each of the 12 FBS teams in the state. We're going to start alphabetically. So, of course, that starts with B, Baylor. The Baylor Bears, uh, shall we say a forgettable first year under Coach Matt Rule. I think that's that's fair to say. Um, my, I'll, uh, With your permission, I'll issue... My New Year's resolution for the We'll Bears. see. If you get in the middle and we're crossing over, I'll just interrupt. That's and fine. I'll just go with mine. My New Year's resolution for Baylor in 2018 is to establish an offensive identity. Because in a lot of respects, when you look up and down what Baylor did this year, I think a lot of the problem is that they didn't really know what they wanted to be. There were games in which they wanted the the quarterback to air it out. There are games where they wanted the off they wanted to to grind it out on the ground, although they weren't particularly good at that. Uh, there were games that they didn't really know what they wanted to be. Now, I think toward the end of the year they started to establish that they probably want to be a team that's going to throw the ball about mm, you know sixty percent of the time. They want to be about sixty forty run pass or pass run split, but. I think the most important thing that they can do in the offseason is say, guys, this is the offense we're going to run. These are the, the roles you're going to to, uh, to operate in them. And then let's go in and execute that. Because to me, that was the big question when Matt Rule got hired is what is this Baylor offense going to look like? Well, we, we kind of still don't know one year in. Part of that is that they didn't – they they it was kind of, you know, square pegs for round holes and stuff like that. But I think that – Establishing what they want to be offensively is the number is the is the New Year's resolution for Baylor. What about you? That's pretty fair. I mean, you know, in talking to to Matt last year and sort of asking him about that, I mean, he didn't he didn't really have an answer, and I think that's just because their personnel was so scattered. And I, I like to call Baylor the greatest one in eleven team in college football <laughs> history. I think that actually fits them last year because, yes, Baylor and Kansas both went one and eleven in the Big Twelve last year, but they're you know, Baylor was competitive in pretty much every single game. And so, you know, especially that early start when they were, you know, trading quarterbacks, trying to play a new Solomon, trying to figure out who they were, what they were trying to do. You know, if they had had, you know, if, if Charlie Brewer had been more ready and, and had been in there, I think they probably beat UTSA. They probably mm-hmm. beat uh, Liberty. And 4-8, and and eight, you know, feels a little different than 1-11. Yeah. and 11. But – you know, there's too many people trusting the process. I think for Baylor, you got to go keep the faith. I think that's got to be the Baylor. <laughs> that's got to be the Baylor hashtag. I like that. Yeah. And maybe hit the buffet while they're at it. I mean, they're stuck playing a, a converted tight end and mm-hmm. Sam Tecklenburg, an all name teamer at, at center. But you know, they've got they signed 11 offensive linemen in their last two classes. They got six last year. They got five this year. And you know, I think Matt Rule is pretty. Uh, honest with the knowing what was going to happen. He's like, we're going to have to throw these freshmen out there at offensive line. We know they're not going to be ready, but this is as bad as it's going to get. And so, you know, offensive line was an issue for them last year. But uh, I, I think, you know, if Matt Rule is going to build this, it has to start on the offensive line. And uh, I, I think that's that's the best place to start. And that, you know, bowls or rolls into to forming an identity. But mm-hmm. it has to start on the offensive line. You can't have an identity yeah. if you have a bad offensive line. Ask Texas last year. Yeah. And we saw that with them week in and week out. They have enough pieces uh, on offense, on the outside, and speed on defense to be okay. But if they can't get better on the offensive line – they're going to look a lot similar wow. uh, to to what they did this year. And it's funny because you mentioned, you know, Max and I talked about that the entire off season, you know, leading up to the 2017 season. This isn't to pat ourselves on the back, but I think it was clear to everybody. It's like, okay, Baylor's offensive line, like the top line, is 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 fine. That's that's a competitive Big Twelve offensive line. But if you lose literally one player then it all can fall apart and that's kind of what happened is that is that that offensive line got a little bit banked up and and the number twos that they had like it, it wasn't that they weren't good it's that they were either freshmen or they didn't exist <laughs> like that was they had no depth and so or they were converted tight ends exactly or they're converted <laughs> tight ends right which is not a great way to live so um, I think you're exactly right. You know, starting up front is where it's got to start, no matter what kind of offense they want to run. If that offensive line doesn't get any better, you know, it's funny because we didn't even mention the defense, which was not good. But you know, I think we can see that they were pretty young. They were playing a lot of young players on that on that defensive side. Uh, they're bringing back, you know, they're going to bring back a fair amount. I I worry less about the defense than I do about the offense. Yeah, I mean, if you can score in the Big Twelve, you can get to a yeah. bowl. Uh, I, I think the defense will have to. They got to. 
find something that they're really good at and mm-hmm. get there first, and they can. I think the offense is probably quicker to get around than the defense will be for them. 